This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Dell Inspiron N7010 laptop computer, N7010. Uh, this is a large laptop, so large that it barely fits into my camera's viewing angle. But we're going to deal with it and replace the screen. It's um, the first thing you have to do when you're replacing the laptop screen is remove the plastic frame around the screen. Now, typically for most laptops, the plastic frame is held down by some screws, secured by some screws. But in this particular, particular Dell design, the screws are not there. So the screws plastic frame is just snapped off. So we're going to snap it off. That's the first step. Um, before we even do that, I'd like to go over the tools that we need. Uh, just some pair of metal tweezers and a small electronics screwdriver with a pH 1 bit and a pH 0 bit. But we're not going to need those tools for the first step. We're just going to need our fingertips for the first test. So what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up the plastic frame and listen for snapping sounds. If I hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the screen is coming up. And then I like to work around the screen and lift up, lift up the frame. Not not all the parts are going to come off at first, but if you're persistent and careful, eventually we're going to get there. The corners are a little bit stubborn on this laptop. That's okay. Yes. The most important thing is take your time. I repeat, take your time. So we go around. And the more it snaps off, the easier it's going to need to get the harder parts off. And this only took me a couple minutes, but it might take you quite a bit longer because I'm experienced at doing this. So the plastic frame is off, and we put this to the side. Now the screen itself is held in by some metal mounting brackets with the screws on the sides. And let's take a look at the screws. Now we can't quite get to the screws right away. They're hidden, so we have to tilt the screen forward a little bit to get to the screws. And in order to do that, we have to remove two screws from the mounting bracket itself. One is right here. This way, see, we can tilt the screen forward a little bit and have access to the other screws. And one is right here. Let's zoom in. Like so. Okay, now we can tilt the screen forward a little bit and we can get to those screws on the side. Okay, so the bottom one is probably the hardest one to get to, but it's not too bad. Now, another trick that I have, I'm not going to use this trick this time, is if it's the screen, screws are still too hard to get to, you loosen up these screws here that hold the bracket, the metal mounting bracket to the back, to the back lid, and this way allows you to tilt the screen forward even more. Uh, this time it's not necessary, so I'm not going to do that. So we remove the rest of the screws, one by one. This one has four screws on each side, which is a little bit unusual. Most newer laptops have just two screws holding the screen on each side. But I guess that's good. The screen is held in more securely. Okay, the other thing I like to do is keep, keep the screen tilted 
it back a little bit so that when all the screws are out, it doesn't just fall forward on you and possibly damage some connectors or cables back there. Okay, we're almost done. Two more. There. Alrighty, so the screws are off and the screen is loose. So we want to tilt the screen forward very carefully. Sometimes what happens is that this cable, webcam cable, has adhesive that attaches to the back of the screen here. So you gotta be careful with that. In this case, we don't have to do that. Now another thing I'm gonna do is free up the video cable a little bit so we have more to work with so we don't damage it. Okay, so next what we need to do is there's only one cable. It's an LED screen, so there's only one cable in the back. We have to remove, and that cable is held down to by some tape. So we lift up the tape, like so. And there's some adhesive on the back of the cable. We slowly lift up the cable to release the adhesive. Once we do that, we'll just pull the connector back, like so and the screen is loose. So let's take a look at this screen. Uh, this is a standard 17.3 inch LED screen. So this is what all the, as of early 2011, this is what all the 17.3 inch laptops use this type of screen and why do we lose focus? Come on, give me back on focus. Okay. We might have to work blurry for now. I don't know. Oh, here it focuses back. This camera has a mind of its own sometimes. Okay, so um, like I said, 17.3 inch LED screen with a connector. Oh, we lost focus again. With a connector on the bottom left. So this is the standard price for the connector. And let's take a look at the part number. Let's hope we don't lose focus. The part number is LP173WD1. LP173WD1. That's all you need to know. And when you look up on eBay or Google, you just type in that number and the screen will come up. Uh, most likely, you'll get a compatible screen that looks like this, but it should work identically and the connector should be in that nickel price. Last thing to note is this screen has a glossy finish, as most do these days, but if you're particular about that, you want to make double sure. And that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Panwoodkiewicz. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And um, yeah, once you get your screen in, just reverse the procedure, put everything back in, and you'll be good to go. Thank you and good luck.